life drinker. No one knows for certain where this amulet came from. All we have is a legend. Long before the Golden City turned black, there lived in the Dimit Imperium a frail old magician in the court of the Archon. He was the least among the mages at the court, the Lamplighter, whose task it was to set all the thousands of candles alight and snuff them again when the Archon retired for the evening. He was counted as useless by all the most influential magisters, but he was only biding his time. One day, when all the magisters of the Imperium were assembled in the Great Hall of the Archon, the Light Lampers, the Lamplighter struck. He conjured a massive firestorm in the hall, trying to assassinate all who were assembled and seize power himself. The court was made up of the most powerful mages of the Imperium, and they worked quickly to destroy the would-be usurper, but found, to their astonishment, that magic was no match for the old mage. Every spell they cast was counted, and the magisters began to fall one by one, until only the Archon itself and the Lamplighter were left, locked in the battle of magic and will. The Archon saw that with each spell he cast, the Lamplighter himself seemed to wither and fade a little more. So he bombarded the mage with a spell after spell, until at last nothing was left of the pal palace but rubble, nothing left of the corpse, court but corpses, and nothing left of the Lamplighter but a golden pendant. This, the Archon kept to remind himself, that treachery could come from even the most innocuous sources.